guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashi Adani, and for today's video, I am trying a full face of Swiss beauty, and this is something a lot of you guys really wanted me to try. So here I am doing it. So let's get started. All right, now that you guys are really close, let's get started. I'm going to be starting off with the Swiss Beauty Liquid Highlighter Illuminator Liquid in 01 Light Pink. So this one comes with a nice dropper. It has a very, um, it's a little oily consistency. I it's and it's very very thin. So uh, it feels like it's kind of oily. I've taken like one. Um, pump let's see what what oh my god I look like that guy forgot his name it's a very famous actor uh, the guy in the robot movie I but yeah this may be a lot also this is like a proper white kind of a glitter so only people like I could definitely use a shade darker uh, this might be too light for me and it feels kind of sticky so I don't know if this would wear well on top of your foundation because this is a liquid highlighter so you are supposed to wear it on top of your foundations and stuff and eye concealer and I really feel like this will break it up. That being said, like from afar, you can see that my face looks really nice and well lit. So let's move on to the primer. I've gotten the Swiss Beauty Oil Free Long Lasting Base. Uh, this is, yep, this is again a silicone primer. I'm not the biggest fan of silicone primers. I'll tell you why. Because A, they really mattify the area. So unless you like having a super matte look you don't want to use your silicone primer except your t-zone like you just want to use it here otherwise it's going to mattify down your entire face also i feel like it smoothens that area sure but it doesn't really fill fill your pores you need a thick whipped cream to kind of go into your pores and fill them uh, like the benefit professional or the nyx pore filling primer or the smashbox uh, pore minimizing primer like there are these particular primers which is which are for pore minimizing and those are always whipped they are never silicone and that's for a reason this is okay i feel like my face has become like smoother in those areas and it kind of picked up the illuminator from uh, my t-zone i don't know how i feel about that like i really wanted the highlight on my nose anyway let's move on to a product that everybody has been really dying for which is the swiss beauty concealer like i don't know how much to believe this but somebody somebody i don't know who on reels explore i saw that that person was comparing the swiss beauty concealer to the fenty beauty concealer and i have the fenty beauty concealer so i kind of know what that feels like and i really don't know if this will compare to that by the way i bought the shade 04 because i felt like it was a um like a middle ground like it felt it looked like it would really match my skin and i don't think i made a mistake i think i'm good with the shade match it's not a brightening concealer for me it's a proper true to skin kind of concealer i built it up and it did build up a little bit but it's still not a full coverage concealer you can see uh, the darkness and like the hollows of my eyes through it. Mm, I'm not a fan of this. Let's move on to the foundation. We have the Swiss Beauty Perfect Match Pen Stick. So it's a stick foundation. I got it in the shade N03 Nude. This is very dry. Okay, like you really have to warm it up. Mm, I feel like it's kind of a match. So I'm just gonna go in with it. It has a very weird smell. And what I like doing with any uh, stick found, 
The smell is really bad. What is it? I don't know if it's the container or the product itself, but the smell is really like there. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm just going to um, use a setting spray. This is the Huda Beauty um, Glow Cocoa Mist setting spray. It's nice and dewy. My main issue with, uh, you know, stick foundations is that it's too dry. There's no slip to it, right? So um, this is how I solved that problem. I just used some setting spray to give it a slip. You can even use uh, facial oils. But my issue with facial oils is that uh, I have oily skin and I don't really like oils on my makeup. It, it can break sometimes. If you don't have the right oil, it can really mess it up. So I don't really like that. So I prefer using a setting spray. If you like a matte finish, use a matte setting spray. If you like a dewy-ish finish, then use a dewy setting spray like I did. And oh my God, did you see how fast that blended? I think it's because of the setting spray and this like thing. But hey, I really like this foundation. The coverage is really good. It's decent. Let's not go on the shade a little bit because I feel like the shade is my problem. Of course, I could have gotten, I didn't know that this color would be, I think this is one shade light for me basically. So let's not go on that. But on its own, I think it's a good foundation. I have a concealing palette from Swiss Beauty. So this is what it looks like. It's the Swiss Beauty Ultra Base Concealer Palette. It has your red color corrector. It has a concealer. It has a bronzer. I was going to, use, sorry, not a bronzer. It has a contour. Uh, I was going to not use the concealer because I'm like, mm, I don't know if I'd like this formula. But I was just going to go into the contour right here. But let's try the concealer now that we're here. I'm going to go into this shade right here with my beauty blender. And we're just going to go under. Wow. Okay, that covered shit up. I'm good. Let's try the contour. I'm really excited for the contour. I'm going to be taking a flat brush for that. And I'm just going to... Uh -huh. it's a little it's a little what do you say like i don't love love the sh tone of it i don't like the undertone i think the undertone is a little too pink for me i genuinely can i say something i feel like i look a little cakey because of the concealer because it's really cakey man like this this th stuff is thick like i have i do have concealers which are full full coverage but they're not so thick like the l'oreal one the maybelline age rewind one they don't really feel thick this one feels very oily on the skin mm, i don't like it so I have contoured the parameters of my face. I'm going to go into the back side of my beauty blender and just press it in place to kind of blend it. Uh, this feels a little oily as well because I mean it is the same formula. But uh, I mean if it's on the face you don't really mind it. If it's on your under your eyes you will definitely feel it which I don't appreciate let's move on to the powder and i feel like this powder is gonna do and ruin my makeup this is the swiss beauty prime and set primer and mattifying setting powder i legit do not know what prime and set powder means uh it comes with a little bit of a sponge here and it has your normal loose powder wala thingy. But the, my issue with this powder, guys, is that it's white. It's literally white. So I don't know. I'm very worried. Okay, that's not bad. 
it did does not look white it does not i mean thankfully it does not look white it did set the concealer in place does not look half bad it's not the finest powder that i have tried it almost feels like and looks like talcum powder but i think it's way better than what i had in mind so next up we have the swiss beauty eyebrow pencil soft waterproof precision it comes in two shades one is black and one is brown i got black oh wow that's soft that's really soft that's doing a very good job it does not feel it's a proper black so i mean i prefer my brow pencils to be little dark brown not black but this is not bad at all i like the formula it's gliding on smoothly but it's not um you know too smooth or too dark you have to like build it up which is great for eyebrow pencil it's kind of waxy i mean you're not oh my god i really like the formula i'm going to go into my own brush to blend a uh, like this i really 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 like how quick the brow was i'm uber impressed with the brow now for the base i've got in two palettes okay one is the swiss beauty a uh, highlight and bronzer palette but it has a blusher as well so i really 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 like the design on this it, i think it's kind of cool and next we have a baked blusher and highlighter palette i've gotten two palettes let's start off with the first one i think my issue the first issue that i have with is the bronzer So my issue with the bronzer is that it's proper shiny. It's almost like a gold highlighter. So why would I want my bronzer to be shiny? That's my first problem. Let's see the blush and the highlighter. Both are pretty and both are shiny. And let's swatch the four shades in the other palette. A light blush, dark blush, dark highlighter, light highlighter. I'm going to go into uh this pink right here and try one side pigmented very pretty like one swipe not very patchy and not as shiny as it looks in the pan and swatches which is a good thing I'm going to try and grab mix of these two pinks right here and do this side this is way more subtle i like this a little more like i like the tone of this these blushes a lot all right let's move on to the highlighter okay at this point my neck is just a whole other thing we're just going to focus on my face uh i'm going to try this highlighter on this side it's shiny it's white it's a champagne a uh, shade it's good for lighter skin tones i would say not for mine um it's good it's glittery though it's not like the subtle glitter uh, like it's not the glow from within sort of a highlighter it's a proper proper highlighter you can tell it's a highlighter you're wearing something uh, i'm going to mix these two shades now and go here hmm this one is more subtle and i think that's because it kind of matches my skin tone it's a little darker uh and bronzy or i'd say overall the formula is also very different this one is very subtle and glow from within this one is very jatak and kind of in your face all right so out of these two palettes my clear winner has to be this one because the colors are more prettier they're more subtle they're more suited for uh, my skin tone and this one i mean the blush was nice the highlighter was too chunky and the bronzer i feel like why would you have a shiny bronzer i don't know with our face complete let's move on to fun things eyes are my favorite thing to test out always all right so i've gotten the um you know the 
essential kit from Swiss Beauty that everybody just always talks about, which is the Swiss Beauty Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, this is what they look like. It's like a nine pan sort of thing. It's for rupees two ninety nine, but I think on Amazon you can always get more discounts. That was nice and fun, but I really, really, really wanted to try some color from Swiss Beauty, so I got this palette. Uh, this is the Professional Eyeshadow Palette HD Professional Eyeshadow. I think you get forty shades in it, so we have a lot of room to play with. Let's start with the light pink here and then the dark pink. I'm gonna get in. I mean, you have such a big palette. Why couldn't you just give a mirror? Yeah. Like, really, why couldn't you just give a mirror? I'm dipping into the pink and I'm putting it right into my transition. Uh, like, as my transition, I'm using the light pink shade. And it's pretty, it's pigmented. It does have some amount of fallout on the palette, but I mean, that's not a big deal at all. I'm going to go into the shade right under it and use it right in my crease. Okay, that's that's pigmented too. I feel like the color is kind of fading away the more I blend it. So you have to build it up. It's not like James Charles level pigmented, the eyeshadow palette but my god the price at which you're getting this i forgot okay so this says 9.99 right here but i think i got it for cheaper i think i got it for much cheaper actually all right the pink is good i'm going to do a cut crease with the yellow shade i really want to use the yellow today we've gotten some concealer i want to see if the colors stick better with a concealer on because that's the case with my James Charles palette. Things could stop falling for one minute in my life. Like just one minute. Okay, I have needed to build it up a lot but I think I have gotten the pigmentation that I desired out of this which is great. I mean, kudos Swiss Beauty. I'm going to dip into the purple and I'm just going to place it on the outside of the eye. Kind of blending it into the yellow and blending it into the transition. If you are on a budget and you want to try colorful eye looks, this, up, I mean, I would 100% recommend this palette. No doubts in that. Like, it's good, good. I think that's as clowny as I'm gonna get today. Uh, let's look at the lower lashes. I'm gonna go into this dark purple shade right here and just run it along my lower lash line. Let's move on to the eyeliner. I think I'm gonna do one eye and then finish up the rest. Uh, the Swiss Beauty Eyeliner, it's literally just called the Swiss Beauty Eyeliner. So it um, it's a liquid liner, it's black, it's like a normal brush sort of an eyeliner. I'm going to try doing a thin wing with it. Oops, not thin anymore. Like, Okay, this one dries down quite quickly. You have... Um, very little playtime like if you mess it up it's not the blackest black eyeliner that i have used but it's really not bad at all like it's a good eyeliner and the last thing that we have for the eyes is the mascara we have the bold eyes super lash mascara waterproof like i'm a sucker for the swish beauty packaging now that i'm realizing I really, really like the illuminator droppers. I love the eyeliner. I love the mascara. Like the packaging looks quite fancy. Do the lashes. So it's a very, very separating mascara. I really hope you can see it. But it's very, very separating. It does not clump up the lashes. What I don't like is that the brush is a little too big. So I'm kind of scared going in my inner um, lashes. 
Anyway, I'm gonna finish up this eye and be right back. Next, we have the Swiss Beauty Bold Matte Lip Liner. I've heard some wonderful things about these lip liners and I got so excited when I bought this because I thought I was getting 12 lipsticks which is why I didn't order any other lipstick because I'm like oh I'm getting 12 lipsticks why do I need more lipsticks uh, when it came I realized that these were lip liners which is kind of a bummer but it's okay we have amazing uh 12 shades right here i'm seeing nudes pinks reds berries browns a lot of good stuff i've just randomly gone into a brownish nude which is called cherry brown 06 let's start lip lining it's a sharpening sort of a pencil you have to sharpen it which is cool i guess okay so this really reminds me of primark lip liners i don't know if you guys have tried it or used it but well, it's not bad at all. I really like it. It's affordable. It's good colors, good pigment. Highly would not recommend this for your entire lip. Especially if you have drier patches. I have one, two dry patches and this is really kind of rubbing onto it. But I mean, this is totally my fault trying to use it as a lipstick. But uh, as a lip liner, I think this is really, really good. I really want to top it up with some lipstick, just just something. I'm going to do that and show you the finished look. Okay, the last thing that we have is the Ma Makeup Fixer Natural. It has aloe vera. It smells really good. It's very light and fine. Uh, really like that. I have used this one before in my affordable uh, makeup video. So I do know that I like this one and it really will change how the makeup looks like it will really blend everything and marry all the powders okay i need to point out one thing that my under eye is totally creasing like it's totally creasing so i think it's the concealing palette that i used uh I'm definitely not going to use that stuff again. Uh, even around my mouth, the foundation is looking a little cakey. And the powder also, I feel like, didn't really work or help in setting anything in place. I love the brows. I love the bronzer. I love the eye shadow as well. The liner is good. The mascara is okay. And I did pick like a blush palette for you and the lip liner is also great so overall i would recommend the uh, non-base part of the brand and yeah i think that's about it Alrighty, guys that is the end of my video we have our approves and non-approves and um let me know if you like any of these products or have tried any of these products or are intrigued to try any of these products after this video Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys super soon. Bye.